Beep, 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 beep. Hello, welcome to the Jester, the Jester, courtly day, Jester. And what have I got for you today? Well, come on, warrior teacher, buy me coffee. Right, okay, look, I've got a new shirt. <laughs> it's so big, I've ordered the wrong size. Look, the shoulders are supposed to be here. It's like a, it's like a tent. But it feels wonderful. It's got a lovely silky, silky, sexy feel. And also, it means if uh, I'm pushed, I can sleep in it. Right, you know, just put a few sticks in. I've got a tent. So, uh, yeah, look. See? Nice and bright. Colourful for the channel. So a bit of colour on the old EGI Jester channel, shall we? Good, 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 good. Moving on from my shirts and clothings. Right. What have I got for you today? I've got a fantastic article. <laughs> Written by... Um, the marvellous uh, Gareth Roberts, uh, whom erstwhile Doctor Who denizen. Oh. Gareth's done some great work on Doctor Who, and he and I share um, uh, um, uh, a love of Doctor Who, well, particularly the, the classic ones and some of the new ones, not the latest woke stuff, but some of the new ones. Um, and he's also a brilliant writer and I, I think incredibly funny. So I'm very pleased to um, be able to read from Spiked Online. An article from Gareth on the 30th of June, which I thought you may, as I have done, take some pleasure from. So, without further ado. <laughs> oh, I'll put the links to Gareth's stuff in the doobers, all right? Okay, so you can go and see who Gareth is. Follow him, all right? He's great. Right, so. <clears throat> Here it comes. What does Paris Lees know about being a girl? Now, I don't know whether you know, just to give you a little bit of background, BBC have announced there's going to be an eight-part series about Paris Lees. Why? Right. OK, so that's what it's about. Right. The BBC's obsession with all things trans is now is beyond parody, says Gareth. Right. What it feels like for a girl, a part memoir, part novel by pa novel by Paris Lees, a man who thinks he is a woman, has been snapped up by the BBC and is to become an eight part drama. Why are they spending public money on this? Strange, isn't it? But they're weirdos. Weird. Hmm. Um, the first, re the obvious first response to this title, what it feels like to be for a girl, is, and how would you know, pal, because Paris Lees is a man, right? Like so much of what passes for trans or queer culture, from drag queens twerking at, tw twerking at toddlers to a comedian playing the piano with his penis, you'll recall I covered Penis Piano Man some months ago, to a comedian playing the piano with his penis while jiggling his silicon tits, the title is just goading and provocation. The correct response to such goading is, of course, to ignore it. But the problem here is that Lees has not been ignored, but rewarded. There are any number of actual female writers who could tell us what it really feels like for a girl. But a bloke has gone to the top of the queue. You'll have to take my word for it because their careers would be finished in seconds if they said anything in public. But I've heard from several female friends and acquaintances in the TV business who are frankly agog and, let's put it mildly, not exactly impressed by this commission. Well, I'll draw my voice to that one, Gareth, and I'm sure there'll be many others who do. It shouldn't be happening. The BBC's press release announcing the coming of Lee's drama is a full body cringe horror. We are told how Byron character work representing Lees is stuck in a small working class town that hasn't been the same since the coal mine shut in the 1980s. Sick of mum, sick of dad, working class, how awful for him. But luckily, help is at hand because life explodes in a rush when Byron escapes to Nottingham's kinetic underworld. <laughs> Gareth! <laughs> This is the first time, says Gareth, I've ever seen Nottingham referred to as somewhere you'd escape to rather than from. <laughs> I think kinetic underworld means gay scene. Right? You can imagine that conversation. Fancy a pint? Yeah, let's go down the kinetic underworld. <laughs> I must confess, I had no idea that the Notts gay scene was quite such a thrill. The BBC makes it sound like Andy Warhol's 1960s Manhattan. Byron, that's the character, discovers the East Midlands premier podium dancer come Hellraiser. The mesmerising Lady Di. <laughs> <sighs> oh. 
The press release says Byron is, ad is adopted into Lady Di's hilarious and chaotic family of tro troublemakers. It sounds a bit like Oliver Twist in a skirt, doesn't it? So, Byron is adopted into Lady Di's hilarious and chaotic family of troublemakers, what I think mean, which I think means really annoying men wearing makeup, <laughs> says Gareth. <laughs> We've all met him, Gareth. We all know who these people are. <laughs> Between them, they beg. This is the, the sort of blurb for the programme. Between them, they beg, steal and skank their way on a roller coaster rise of hedonism at the heart of the UK's early 2000s club scene. Oh, so Gareth continues. Who knew there was a hedonistic roller coaster in the East Midlands in the early 2000s, or indeed ever, that Kettering was actually Fire Island? <laughs> It's marvellous, Gareth. What it feels like for a girl is such a very 2011 commission. It arrives just as the wheels are falling off the trans clown car in the real world. Television always lags behind the discourse. The process involved are so interminably slow, it always takes a geological age for anything to actually happen. That is, until the brief production period, when everything has to be done tomorrow, because you should have been done yesterday. <laughs> What it feels like for a girl is yet another comedy drama mythologising the adolescence of a celebrity. Lee is, Lee's is a semi-famous is semi-famous for being a columnist at Vogue and a presenter on Channel 4 and BBC Radio 1. It follows in the trailblaze by Emma Kennedy, the Kennedys, Caitlin Moran, How to Build a Girl, and Alan Carr, Changing Ends. These shows are always jammed full of quirkily backward common people who just don't understand the sheer wonderfulness of our hero. <laughs> They are the perfect products of our age, featuring mountains of self-absorption, producing molehills of self-knowledge. Everybody's adolescence is fascinating. Yes, to them. What Lee's and these other celebs really need, I suspect, was to be loved, just like everybody else. Nobody cared enough about their specialness when they were younger, so by God, now they're going to make the viewing public care. Brackets or not, as the case may be. Close brackets. Lee's particularly outing comes with an added dose of sleaze. He became an underage prostitute and went to jail for robbing a client. The exact details of the offence are hard to pin down. Squalor is only fun with a screen around it, when you can switch over the channel or walk away and eat a fish finger sandwich. It's a thrilling, thrilling thing to look in on, but we forget that it requires that somebody else has to have lived through it. I say this not to judge. I will gladly rubberneck along with everybody else, but TV people shouldn't try to dress up this kind of exploitation and prurience as something almost noble. But then again, Lee says he likes being exploited. It's a fun thing for him, something to dip in and out of. Quote from Lee's, Last summer I went to Ibiza, Spain, where I was catcalled, sexually objectified and treated like a piece of meat by men the entire week. And it was absolutely awesome. He wrote in Vice 2014. Can you see what it is yet? It's funny how for all the gender lobbies, highfalutin talk of gender fluidity, differently wired brains and non-binary modalities, the trans identity tends to encompass some pretty bog standard entitled male attitudes and desires. Clearly, Lee's can only tell us what it feels like for a bloke. Thanks, Gareth. That's a corker. You go and have a great day, all right? But, you know, we let, if we let them continue to lie, they'll continue to lie. Not one bloody inch. All right? And, yeah, Gareth will rubberneck, and I'm sure you will when this ridiculous thing comes out. But, yes, the, you know, nonsense. Okay? Go on, go well. Have a great day. I'll see you later. I'm going to go and set up my tent. Bye.